Good morning everyone, I hope that you're all well. Today is Tuesday, the... Oh, we're in June, not in July. 15th, the 15th of July, uh, June. Oh God, I've confused myself now. I hope that you're all well. Um, I got my vaccine yesterday in this arm, for I'm right-handed. Got it in my left arm. Um, so it's feeling a little sore today. Oh, ow. Uh, so I will not be raising my arm. Um, but overall... I feel fine. I don't feel ill. I slept very well last night, but yeah. I'm just a little sore in the shoulder today, but that's fine. Um, goal for the day. Package up as many of the orders as I can. So you are with me on a packaging day. Good news is I've already prepped a lot of the stuff that I need to for packaging day, so all I need to do is start packaging. Um, yesterday after my vaccine and after I edited the vlog and blah blah blah, I then sorted out all the postage and because of the amount of orders I had and I had some orders to combine and blah 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 yeah it took me about three hours to actually just sort the postage out so um, that was really fun so I have um, sorted all that out so I don't need to do it today and all I need to do is package which is good because I've got a late start to the day and it's already 10 to 10 Mario has done like a proper COVID test. He did one of the lateral flow tests, like the one that I did, and that came back today and has come back as negative. So he definitely doesn't have COVID. I don't have to self-isolate. He still does till Monday next week, um, which is unfortunate and quite annoying, but hey, um, got stickers. I got some stickers made. I don't think I've shown these to you. They've got a little thank you on them. And then I got these ones that are the chromatic yarn stickers. Oh, I've got a fly up here. Oh, I should open the window for you. There you go, little friend. Um, that way. Oh, there you go. It's gone. So, yes. Because I needed some more cellophane bags, but the only cellophane bags that they had in stock weren't um, sealable. I had to get some stickers so they actually seal and I just thought I'd get some of these anyway so yes right I do need to quickly photograph the yarn club and the stitch marker club and then I'm good to go but I can do that whilst I'm printing off all the orders so I'm gonna sort that first yeah. sorry if you can hear the printer in the background so I've got a bit of a setup here so I've got my pre-cut bubble wrap I've got two boxes of that going on and I've got my um, cards that I did I did these both on Sunday and this is another box of cards that it's just sat on top of. And yeah, all ready to go. Got my tissue paper ready cut, and yeah, let's do this. I have 25 pages of orders to package. I think maybe this last one, I'm gonna have to check some of them because some of them seem slightly off, which is annoying, but maybe they just weren't put in properly. But they're not all off, so I didn't print them on the wrong setting, which is a relief. But that one's off, that one's off. And it's it, that's it. It's just two pages. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll just get these reprinted. But yeah, whew. 25 pages. Thanks everyone. So, two things. I'm still packaging. Story of my life. But, I would just like to, it's, I'm packaging Young Club, so I have to try and keep it a bit hidden. Um, I would just like to formally thank people that have a funny town name, road name, anything like that it really makes packaging so much better. The pa order I'm packaging, the person lives in Breeston in Derby, but it is, I, I've only just learned it's pronounced Breeston um, because every time I look at her address I pronounce it Breston um, and it makes me laugh all over again and yeah I've just named it the, uh, the Peniston of the Midlands because for those that don't know in the UK, in Yorkshire, I believe. We have a town called Peniston, which, um, yeah, it's not a double N, so, yeah. Also, one of the perks to Mario not being able to go anywhere or be at work is that he brings me up a cup of tea. Absolutely delightful. So, yeah, thanks, Mario. Um, but yeah, I'm still going, still packaging orders. Uh, in total, there's 147 pages in this document. Some of them are labels, 
some of them are customs labels. I don't print customs labels. Um, I manually write them. And yeah, of the 147 pages, I'm currently on page 34. So we're getting through it. But there's still quite a wad. I'm still packaging clubs. So yeah, it's all right. I'm just going to try and do as many as I can today. Aim for halfway through. If I get over halfway through, fantastic. But aim for halfway through and then I can finish off tomorrow before it gets too hot up here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to stop and get some lunch at some point because my tummy's already rumbling. But it's only 20 past 11, so. Try and do as many as I can before I pause for lunch because then I don't know how much more I'll be able to do after lunch. Right, I'm going to keep packaging and I'll be back, so. Just thought I'd give you an update on what's happening and also please order from me if you live in a funny place. That's it, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Hey folks, so I haven't shown you anything that I'm packaging because I'm actually still going on clubs. I've currently packaged 10 pages, so that's 40 orders. So I have 57 left to go. I don't know if I'll do them all today, but it's currently 12.05 um, and I haven't eaten yet today. So I think I need to eat some lunch. I might open the other window up here and see if that allows a bit more of a breeze to come in and then the goal is to come back up and do a few more pages if I can and hopefully I will get off the clubs and can show you a little bit of the non-club orders that I'm packaging see if I recognize any names off the top of my head that's clubs that's clubs okay I've got two more pages left to do and then I'm off clubs and on to regular orders so that's oh ow that's good um yeah I still feel fine um, I feel a bit tired but I don't know if that's just because I'm up here and I haven't eaten yet today and it's a, like a lack of energy thing um, but yeah 15 pages left to package and yeah but right now I'm gonna go get some lunch and see if Mario wants any too and we can have lunch together it'll be lovely so we're back right now I need to set up for packaging again and uh, yeah, had quiche. Uh, Mario found a quiche, cheap quiche. We love a bargain in this household, 30 pence quiche um, that was reduced the other day. She is. Yum. And yeah, so we had that with a salad for lunch and then a bunch of fruit afterwards because I was still peckish. So. Um, but now we're moving on to orders from this weekend and packaging those so I have to get my little setup sorted I feel like this desk isn't big enough but it definitely is but I just feel like I take up too much space anyway let's package
is one of my new colourways that I dyed up that was inspired by a set of dice. I decided to call it Net of Shadows. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not sure. Um, I called it Net of Shadows because the dice that are that inspired it had some black netting in it. Um, the creator called them 80s, 80s Pop Princess was the name of the set of dice, um, which I thought that's not very D and D. So, God, it's all kicking off out there. So I went with Net of Shadows, and it's like a mint green with pinky purple. And then black. And I really, really like it. I really like it. Thanks for ordering it, see ya. Okay, I can feel my concentration waning. How many pages do I have left to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus one order that's on a, another page. So, yeah. I do feel my concentration waning though, so I think it would be better if I were to come back tomorrow and finish off packaging these. If I try and come back relatively early in the morning, because it's the sun's coming across, you can't really tell. The sun's coming across and it's getting a little warmer and um, yeah. I don't want to start making mistakes now because I've done so well thus far. Like there would, I have nothing left over for clubs that I shouldn't have and things like that. So I'm gonna take a break come back to it tomorrow when I'm rested and um, crack on again but for now I'm going to go downstairs I'm going to have a look in my planner at things that I need to do probably take my Chromebook down because I will probably need it and um, yeah I need to chat some people about potential collabs I need to work out the pricing for the um, 12 days of Stitchmas um, that I'm going to be doing and I need to have a look at the pre-orders that people ordered this past weekend and get them work out what basis people want them on and the like so yeah it's currently half past two I feel like I've had quite a productive day so far you know what maybe it's a good thing that Mario's home because I seem to be doing way more work than if he wasn't home I don't know so cool right i'm off downstairs although i chucked a box down there so i might have to battle with a box at some point Stay for coming out so having her shoes on. So, uh, Mario hung, put the washing line up. It's very exciting. And have you noticed, I've worked out the settings that I needed to change. I've literally just done it. And then, yeah, this was all here before we moved here. Um, we don't know what these are, whether they're anything pretty or we should just pull them up. Ooh, it's wet on them. The bees love these here. The bees love these here. We don't know what these are, so if anyone could tell me, that would be lovely. Um, ducking under the washing line. We've got foxglove. I know this one that bees also love. We've got these very beautiful roses as well. They're so pretty. And yeah, they've recently they've come out just this week, so it's very exciting. So I have called um, someone about the dye shed. Dilly. This is just garden waste that I need to get rid of, but I've called someone about the dye shed. Um, someone that the neighbour recommends. Oh, this is very hot on my feet. Let's get in the shade. Uh, someone that the neighbour recommended. So we've called him up. He's very busy at the minute because apparently everyone wants extensions because everyone's realised that their house is too small after living in it non-stop for a year. So he's going to come around and have a look and see what needs doing because it's not as much work as an extension. So maybe he'll be able to squeeze us in. Fingers crossed. We shall see. Um, but yeah, we have dupe. No, not that over here. We've got a collection of herbs here. We need to trim our bay tree here. Mary planted strawberries in the hanging baskets, and we've got some.
potatoes in here and also some berries. Mary just ripped up some of the AstroTurf um, and put compost in and blah blah blah. And then down here, ooh, we also have some potatoes. They're very exciting. I apparently can't point in a camera, but yeah. Um, we do need to work out how to trim that bay tree because otherwise it's going to get out of control. Out of control. But I've now worked out how to film outside. Hooray, I know what setting that I need to change. So um, I can take your walks again. So I realised I've been quiet for a little bit and hopefully the music in the background isn't too loud. It's I'm still standing. Elton John on Radio 2. Um, but yeah, I spent the evening chatting and sorting out a collab for a little bit, uh, making notes of what I've gone back to using a planner. You know what? It seems to be doing wonders. I seem to be, I seem to, it's useful. I'm actually remembering to do the stuff that I want to do, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, so the goal for tomorrow, uh, obviously edit this, but film, uh, no, not film anything. Um, package the last of the orders, hopefully get them done so I can call and get them collected tomorrow. If not, they'll go on Thursday. NBD, NBD. Um, the weather's meant to be taking a turn at some point, so we're having a nice little barbecue. Um, we got some chicken wings, so we're having chicken wings on the barbecue. Should be absolutely delightful. Mary has made a mountain of coleslaw, because of course he has. Um, but that's fine, it should last us a couple of days. And yeah, so we just thought we'd make the most of the nice weather while we can and eat outside and have a nice time. But um, yeah, it is meant to turn and meant to get thunderstormy, so that will be fun. So yeah, I might keep knitting on this hat. I haven't cast on my Lotus Star yet, because I want to free up the needles from this. Um, so I can cast on with my 16 inch circulars because I only have one set of interchangeable needles. So that is what I am doing, is working on that and trying to get that finished. But I am going to leave that here. It's a sewing bee final tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. So, um, unrelated. If you'd like to follow me on social media, as always, links can be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need. You, and uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've got up to this past weekend. No, these past couple of days, yeah. Um, I hope that you're all well, and that if you have sunshine, you're able to enjoy it somehow. Um, if you're stuck at work, I'm very sorry that you're stuck at work. Hopefully you can nip outside on your lunch break. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I post multiple videos a week. We hopefully have a podcast coming up on Friday. still need to block my jumper. It's over there waiting to be blocked. Um, and yeah. I think that's everything. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel. And I'd very much appreciate it. Hopefully the next time you see me, my nails will be a different colour. Because I don't know how long I can hack these for. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching once again. And I will see you very soon in Friday's video. Bye.